In a shocking incident that has rattled the community of Port Orange, Florida, an 11-year-old middle school student has been charged with a felony after threatening to carry out a mass shooting at two local schools. Volusia County Sheriff Michael Chitwood made the announcement on social media, confirming that the student from Creekside Middle School had compiled a list of names and targets, sparking fear among parents and students alike. Although the boy later claimed the threat was intended as a joke, the situation has been treated with the utmost seriousness by local authorities. The student now faces felony charges of intimidation through a written threat to commit a mass shooting or terrorism, as detailed in an incident report released by the Volusia County Sheriff's Office. Due to the student's age, CNN and other news outlets have refrained from naming the juvenile, who has been charged as a minor. The boy's alleged actions have brought attention to the growing concern around school safety, particularly in a time when threats of violence have become all too common in educational settings. The case began to unfold after an anonymous tip was submitted by another student at Creekside Middle School, alerting law enforcement to a disturbing FaceTime conversation involving the 11-year-old. According to the report, the juvenile had been showing other students firearms and knives during the call, which quickly led to speculation among the group about how the boy might carry out a school shooting. Although the weapons were later determined to be airsoft guns, which fire non-lethal pellets, the threat was deemed credible enough to warrant swift intervention by authorities. When detectives questioned the boy, he acknowledged that he had made the list of names but insisted it was a joke and claimed he never intended to harm anyone. He also admitted to showing his classmates the airsoft rifles and knives during the FaceTime call, but said he could not recall if he had clarified to them that the guns were not real. Despite his claims of innocence, the law enforcement officers were alarmed by the level of detail and preparation involved in the alleged threat. A search of the boy's home uncovered an array of airsoft rifles, pistols, magazines, and fake ammunition designed to resemble real bullets. Additionally, detectives found several knives and swords, heightening concerns about the juvenile's access to dangerous weapons. Most chillingly, a notepad containing a list of names, individuals the boy allegedly said he wanted to kill, was also seized as evidence. While the student maintained that the list was part of a joke, law enforcement was not willing to take any chances. Volusia County Sheriff Michael Chitwood wasted no time addressing the public's concern. We just arrested a Creekside Middle School student who made threats to commit a school shooting at Creekside or Silver Sands Middle School, he posted on social media. He had written a list of names and targets. He says it was all a joke. But for authorities, the line between a joke and a real threat is a fine one, especially in the context of school safety. The arrest has brought renewed attention to the ongoing challenges schools face in dealing with violent threats, even those that may not result in actual harm. Sheriff Chitwood emphasized the need for proactive measures to combat these dangers, noting that this was not an isolated incident. Just last week, the sheriff revealed that 54 calls had come through Fortify Florida's tip line regarding potential school shootings, though all had been deemed hoaxes. Addressing the rising tide of these threats, Chitwood made it clear that law enforcement would be stepping up its response. In a bold statement released via video, he warned parents that starting immediately, both they and their children would be held accountable for any threats of school violence, even if they were intended as jokes. Starting Monday, your little cherub? We're going to start publishing his face and doing perp walks with him when we take him into custody, and then we're going to show pictures of you, the parents. Because you don't want to raise your kid, Sheriff Chitwood is going to raise them, he said. Parents, get your kids in line, or your checkbook's gonna hurt and your pride's gonna hurt. I promise. This tough stance comes in response to growing concerns about juvenile threats of violence in schools, which have become a disturbingly common occurrence in recent years. In response, many districts across the country have implemented tip lines like Fortify Florida, encouraging students, teachers, and parents to report suspicious behavior or potential threats. In this case, the tip may have averted a potential tragedy, but it also highlights the challenges of distinguishing between serious threats and misguided jokes. Chitwood's warning to parents also brings to light the importance of parental involvement in monitoring their children's activities, especially in the digital age where access to weapons and violent content is just a click away. The sheriff made it clear that authorities will not be lenient with juveniles who make threats, even if they claim it was done in jest. The hope is that by holding both children and their parents accountable, law enforcement can stem the tide of violent threats that disrupt school environments and instill fear in students, teachers, and parents. The boy's arrest has already sent shockwaves through the local community. 
Parents at both Creekside and Silver Sands Middle Schools have expressed their concern over the situation, demanding stricter safety measures and more open communication between schools and law enforcement. As the investigation continues, it's clear that this case serves as a wake-up call for all involved, from parents to school administrators, about the potential consequences of even a seemingly harmless joke in today's climate. While the juvenile's future is uncertain, he now faces serious legal consequences for his actions. As for Sheriff Chitwood, his message is clear. Threats of violence, whether real or a joke, will not be tolerated in his community. As schools grapple with the growing number of threats, the message is simple. The time for jokes is over, and the consequences are real. Become a part of the playful parade community. Smash that like button, drop a comment, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Road to 10,000 subscribers. Oh,